Steve, what do you uh, what, <clears throat> so what do you think of training at RFA? <laughs> it's unique. You can't find this style in most places, and I'm talking globally. Mm -hmm. Only that you'll find little pockets, little instances of a true martial arts like this. Nice. What's uh? Tell me uh, two or three of your favorite uh, aspects of uh, the RFA curriculum, whether it's the Kali, Selah. Well, I would say the one aspect is the one you preach the most, and that's footwork. The footwork is in all of those, and it's the primary component. So learning the footwork and learning to move properly is the major thing that I'm getting out of all the flavors of the art. Nice. Uh, so um, with uh, training at RFA, have you noticed any uh, other kind of benefits outside of training? Confidence. Nice. I'm more confident in uh, situations. Uh, what's your favorite TV show? <laughs> Doctor Who. Doctor Who, nice. Yeah. What? Uh, give me a, an example of something that happened in one of your favorite episodes. Of Doctor Who? Yeah. Oh, uh, there's so many. Uh, it's got to be the tenth Doctor, David Tennant, and Gods and Monster episode. Where he, that was a great episode, and he wasn't primarily in there. Uh, the end of time, the final, where the tenth Doctor regenerated. I guess that's one of the six in my mind too. That was an excellent. Farewell tour of the Tenth Doctor. Nice. Uh, so you came out with the RFA group out to uh, uh, to Indiana to come out with us and train with Tim Wade. What would you think of Tim? Oh, awesome. The way he moves, and you'll hear me say, talk about movement a lot, was fantastic. Seeing that another type, another aspect of the movement really opened my eyes to, to how to employ the art. Nice. So are you excited that uh, Tim Wade's coming out to uh, Chicago oh, yeah. for RFA? Yeah, I'm going to sign up for that one. Nice, very good. But, All right. But the other uh, arts that are being taught here, the other Kali arts, I love too. There's a PTK and the, uh, for the Rikiti Tercia, the Tres Armas, Bolivia, all those are all part of a whole that's helping me. It's uh, enhancing my art. Nice. Um, how would you relate the Kali and the Silat? How would they relate to each other in your mind? There's, a, there's overlap, but what I think of as Kali is the more the horizontal movement, and Silat is more the vertical movement. So it's still movement, it's just a different type of movement. Nice, nice. Uh, what's one of your favorite hobbies or activities to do outside of training? Outside of martial arts, about the only other thing I do is play video games and read. I'm a big reader. I would read like two or three books a week. So uh, would you recommend uh, RFA training to others? Everyone. Everyone? Nice. It's, I call, I'm a little advanced in age. I consider it an old man's art. Because as I said, it's the footwork. It's not the, the bulk. It's not arm strength. It's not leg strength. Strength, it's the movement that uh, makes the art work and protects you. Nice. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. You're looking good. Really came a, a long way from day one. So, awesome. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs>